So now in this video I thought I would just talk about a backup power supply that I'm going to buy. We're not going to go into details with it. I'm not going to show her anything. I'm going to order it from Amazon and it's about $1,150. So a uh, fairly high priced, but I think it's going to be worth it for uh, basic emergency backup power. So the main motivation for this, if the power goes out or something, I'd like to be able to power a microwave for a brief period of time. It has uh, really just kind of one thing that makes it a little more complicated than most things for uh, powering is that it's a pretty high wattage uh, unit right there. So good chance it'll be a thousand watts. If you uh, go for a low power one, it'll probably be at least 700 watts right there. So a lot of wattage, you have to provide a lot of power, but only for brief periods of time. But uh, nice thing is I buy these for work. I work at a uh, building. There's no fast food to go to or anything. And uh, so you just zap one of these for about 90 seconds, cook them for about a minute, let the bubbling go down and then cook them for another 30 seconds. And uh, so there's a couple flavors I like of the uh, stew there. And uh, then there's also chunky, there's a few flavors of soup I like right there. So there's a variety out there. You just pull off the plastic top and then uh, pull off the uh, the metal top there. This is the bowl, you just microwave it uh, directly. So you got a hot meal and uh, those help me get through an eight or a 12 hour shift really nicely when I throw in a little bit of cold food and uh, dry food. So now the unit I'm gonna buy does have a USB output here and uh, batteries inside of it. So it does perform the function of this. If all you need is a USB, much better to buy one of these. Uh, they'll be a lot cheaper and uh, you just buy as many as you need for the amount of energy storage you need. And there's also this fan, has uh, batteries in it and uh, also a USB output uh, right there and uh, whatnot. So there's a lot of other options for uh, energy storage for low power devices. This is a power inverter. As you can see, it's only rated for 400 watt. It cannot power a microwave, but it does have a lot of what we're gonna have in the unit that I buy. So it's got the AC plugs right there, as does the other one, but these cannot provide enough power, enough current for a uh, microwave right there. As I said before, it'd probably be at least a 700 uh, watt, and that's only 400 watt. So you just plug that to a battery. There's no battery inside it. That's the other nice thing about the unit I'm gonna buy. It has the uh, battery inside it. But uh, just like with this, it has a USB outputs. So does the unit I'm gonna buy. So now the uh, power bank I'm gonna buy is basically the combination of those last two things that I showed you, plus with more options. But uh, we're gonna keep it simple right there. Basically the combination, you got AC power. You can output a higher wattage though. You can provide a lot more power, a lot more current to uh, devices than uh, the other unit I showed you. But within it has a, a battery. So it looks like it's a lithium ion battery because that's the voltage they gave me at uh, 350 amp hours, according to the seller. And uh, so you multiply those two numbers together because it's amp hours, you get the watt hours, uh, 1,260 watt hours. So that should allow a 1,000 watt microwave to operate for more than an hour, probably an hour and like 15 minutes or so. A 700 watt, that's not half of a thousand, but it's down half a bit. So I just put almost uh, two hours, probably somewhere between an hour and a half and uh, an hour and 45 minutes, probably in between there. But in any case, I'm just keeping the math easy. So that's for $1,150. If we just bought batteries to get that much uh, energy storage. So just looking at the battery, nothing else. There are, uh, there's one lithium iron phosphate battery. That's what uh, that's saying right there, the life pole for that. Uh, it's the lowest price, $400, 12.8 volts, uh, 100 uh, amp hours. So you got 1,280 watt hours. So for $400, you got as much energy storage as this unit for uh, almost $1,200. So about a third of the price approximately. But uh, there's no uh, AC output or anything. You got to buy that and you got to buy the connectors and uh, everything and uh, some other stuff. So this is all one unit right here. That's uh, what makes it nice. And the connections within it are already large enough. You don't have to worry about that. And uh, so you can though plug another battery to it to provide uh, more power over time. And uh, it's got a limit to how much current it'll let come through 
from the battery but it's already got its own battery in there so uh, as long as you don't drain that all the way down this will uh, charge over time you can also use solar power and there's a uh, 120 volt AC that you can plug it which does plug it that uh, pretty quick right there you got a number of uh, charging options and finally we'll just look at this battery really quick this is a small version of the battery I was talking about 16 amp hours unfortunately it looks like they don't sell this anymore but in any case I really could not find any good use for this it's the main reason why this is the uh, only video that you've seen this battery and uh, as I said before it looks like a larger one will be needed we have these uh, terminals right there so I made a video for a connector that slides on to these and then it's got a wire to uh, provide power but really these have like a 10 amp max so you'd want about 5 amps coming out so to get a high amount of uh, current you need a ton of these in parallel and a little wire going to something uh, a connector that can combine them for uh, more current so probably not gonna ever use this battery for anything interesting anyways the uh, voltage though for lithium iron phosphate is uh, very similar when you got four of them in a series to lead acid right there whereas lithium ion is a uh, higher and its range is different than lead acid but these do not charge the same as lead acid you don't use a lead acid charger you got to use a lithium iron phosphate charger to charge them they charge differently so be aware of that even though the working voltage is the same the way you charge them is uh, quite a bit different so just wanted to mention that but in uh, any case just gonna end the video there hope you still found it interesting and uh, see you in the next video